Hi fellow brewers and YouTubers, this is David here again. Um, got a little taste test tonight, this is the Woodford's Worry. Um, it's been bottled about three weeks now. Um, I tried one perhaps three or four days ago, the carbonation wasn't right, so I put it in a warmer place. I'm going to give it a go now. Um, I only put half a teaspoon of sugar, I used normal table sugar for um, 500 milliliters, which is this one here. Um, the first one I tried. Hardly no carbonation whatsoever, really flat. So, over a few more days, so it's been bottled three weeks now. I fermented it for 10 days, and on the kit it says um, it runs out of 4%. Um, I think anything like that, it was more like 3.5%. So, I'm going to give it a go now and uh, just have a little taste and just see if the carbonation's improved. Then, if not, I'm going to leave it like another month and then try again. So, we'll just see if, uh, if it happens. And then give it a pop. You can. See anything I hear anything? Something's happening there, a bit of a fizz and a bit of smoke, you can see that. Try a board and uh, see how it is. See? It's much better already that, I can see um, from what it was. There was none of this fizz, so that extra time, it's allowed the sugar to do its work once. It's a really nice head that, you can see there, it's a lovely amber colour, um, it's holding, it's not perfectly clear, you can see there, it's, it's clear and much better than it was, well, it's a darkened bit anyway, it's, like, so it's a real ale, so, well where I presume, where is a real ale, so, got a sniff there. it does smell quite hoppy. Um, I've mean, I mean, done this before, and old um, Dave up in UK did it. Um, he had some good results with it, but when he tested, I think it was at the time it was three months old, so it will improve. But just, uh, once, if you guys would know why, it didn't run out at four percent. Um, perhaps didn't mix it enough. They didn't put too much water in. The normal uh, twenty-three liters. You can see the carbonation there. So I'm going to give it a go. It's going down now, so it's that's lovely amber colour. Um, so I'll give it a little drink and see. That's a really refreshing drink, that. Um, it's tasty. Well, not like an after after taste to it. Um, probably one of the better ones I've done. I know Dave at Bosboon UK, again, he said it was one of the best he's done, and uh, I can't disagree. Um, also, I was um, listening to Brett on um, Newfoundland Brewing, and he, he said, you know, it's very important to age your beers. I've not aged them that long. I mean, this is probably, that's three weeks, even a bit early by uh, Brett's standards, but, you know, it isn't going to improve. So, I've got a good batch here, I'm going to leave them for a while. Um, I'm going to try some of my older brews and I've got um, the Cooper's English Bitter and I've also got the, um, the Cooper's Real Ale that's fermenting right now. I'm going to barrel that but I'm going to try to leave it eight weeks. Um, I've had, it takes a lot more condition in a barrel, there's more of it and I, th I think, if I'm right, I put about 100 grams of sugar and I might actually put brewing sugar in this as opposed to normal table sugar in the, in the barrel and just see how, it, see how it is. So if I'm going to test, it's a uh, so lacing, yeah. So it's a nice lacing on it. Um, and I would say, looking back now, I was I thought initially I thought perhaps you know, a, a full teaspoon of sugar, but half a tea, half a teaspoon for five hundred mils is absolutely bang on that. And if you've not got the carbonation, then you're probably not conditioned in a warm enough place. I'd imagine, or for not long enough. I mean, these have been uh, in a really warm place for. That's part of two and a half weeks now. It's been in the fridge for three or four hours. It's a Friday night. It's a work night. And like I say, if you can't enjoy a beer on a Friday night, when can you? Um, yeah, so I'm glad I did that. Did put, <coughs> pardon me, got the burp test there. In fact, the other night, I was in a local pub and I was drunk a pint of Robinson's Bitter. I don't know if you know Robinson's. I mean, a lot of people in the UK know it, and especially it's a Stockport brewery, so it's like a, a Northern England. 
presumably out of all the rest of the country, but uh, another pint of, uh, it's called Unicorn, that's a really, that's a nice bit, that's a smooth taste as well, that. Um, and that was, what were we talking about? It was £2.60 a pint, and this probably works out about 40 to 45p a pint, and this is just as, uh, just as good. When you're brewing like that, it's no surprise more and more people doing the home brewing, the kits are getting better. Um, I got this one from Wilkinson's and they got a lot of their own um, brew, um, kits now, the, the, the twin can kits, and they think they start from £15. So, I mean, if you got a Cooper's kit, and Cooper's kits are really good, and that'd be probably £13, but by the time you bought the Enhancer or the Brewing Shug, you, you're up to £16 and £17 easily. And these, it's just basically um, the twin can kits, it's just a case of popping it all in and have a look. And what I would suggest to you guys, if you want to have a little stronger bitter, is, or any any kind of beer, is just do your mix, but just do it to 20 litres and take hydrometer reading. And if it's, you probably want it about, I imagine about 1,036 to 1,040. This, I mean, this is quite low at the time, but I'd already put all the the water in then, so I should have perhaps stopped a little bit earlier. But um, you can go to 18 litres perhaps to, uh, to 20 and just see the strength. I mean, if you like a stronger beer, I'll just put less in. Um, and I've also heard some people, they've done these twin can kits, it's not easy to say that actually, twin can kits, um, they've also used the kits and they've also put some brewing sugar in just to bump it up a bit, I mean I suppose on this you could put uh, a dark malt extract as well, um, something like that if you want to bump it up, so let's see, this is really good on that now, I'm really chuffed with that one, um, I was a bit disappointed at first and couldn't understand why Big Dave uh, raved about it, but no can understand why. Well, cheers guys. I've got quite a few of those. Might, I've only got to chill one more tonight. I'm going to leave it another month then. Um, I'm going to give, give it a go then. Um, I've got another kit down here somewhere. Back of the cupboard so I think I'll leave that one. But uh, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. Any comments? Any advice? And uh, cheers to Brett again. Because... Um, Brett knows his stuff and I'm learning from Brett every day. So thanks for watching guys and uh, happy Friday. Take care. Cheers lads.